Big shout out to Bruno Rossett who messaged us this little beauty. And this is about a bloke that ended up judging a curry cooking competition. Oh, what an absolute honour and privilege that would be. Judge number three for this particular year was an inexperienced food, cr- a food critic named Frank who was visiting from America. Go, Frank. So this is what Frank had to say. Recently, I was honoured to select uh, to be selected as a judge at a curry cook-off. The original person called in sick at the last moment, and I happened to be standing there at the judge's table asking for directions to the beer garden when the call came in. <laughs> I was assured by the other two judges, Natal Indians, that the curry wouldn't be all that spicy, and besides, they told me I could have free beer during the tasting, so I accepted. There's a win. Here is the scorecard notes from the event. Curry number one, Celine's Manic Monster Tomato Curry. Delicious, sounds great. Judge number one, a little too heavy on the tomato. Amusing kick. Judge number two, nice and smooth tomato flavour. Very mild. Judge number three, Frank. Holy shit. (laughs) (laughs) What the hell is this stuff? You could remove dried paint from your driveway. It took me two beers to put the flames out. I hope that's not the worst one. These people are crazy. (laughs) (laughs) The others called it mild. Um, Chili uh, curry number two. Phoenix barbecue chicken curry. Judge number one. Smoky with a hint of chicken. Slight chili tang. Judge number two. Exciting barbecue flavor. Needs more peppers to be taken seriously. Frank. (laughs) Judge number three. Keep this out of the reach of children. (laughs) I'm not sure what I'm supposed to taste besides pain. I had to wave off two people who wanted to give me the Heimlich manoeuvre. They had to rush in more beer when they saw the look on my face. (laughs) Curry number three. (laughs) Shamila's famous burn down the garage curry. I'm here. I'm in for this. Judge number one. Excellent firehouse curry. (laughs) Great kick. Judge number two, a bit salty. Good use of chili peppers. Judge number three, call 911. I've located the uranium pill. My nose feels like I've been snorting drain cleaner. Everyone knows the routine by now. Get me more beer before I ignite. Barmaid pounded me on the back and now my backbone is in the front part of my chest. I'm getting pissed from all this beer. Chili number four. Oh, God. Baboo's Black Magic Bean Curry. <laughs> Let's go, Baboo. <laughs> Judge number one, the black bean curry with almost no spice. Disappointing. Just massively disappointing. <laughs> Judge number two, hint of lime in the black beans. Good side dish for fish or other mild foods. Not much of a curry. <laughs> Judge number three, Frank's back. I felt something scraping across my tongue, but was unable to taste it. Is it possible to burn out taste buds? Shireen, the beer maid, was standing behind me with fresh refills. That 200 kg woman is starting to look hot. Just like this nuclear waste I'm eating. Is chili an aphrodisiac? <laughs> it actually is. And I'm going to leave it there because, believe it or not, Frank's got three more curries to judge. Chili number five. Come Lyle's, on, Frankie boy. This is Lyle's legal lip remover. <laughs> Judge number one, meaty, strong curry, cane peppers freshly ground, adding considerable (laughs) kick. Very impressive. (laughs) Judge number two, average beef curry could use more tomato. Must admit, the chili peppers make a strong statement. Oh, here we go. Judge number three, Frank, my ears are ringing. (laughs) Sweat is pouring off my forehead and I can no longer focus my eyes. I farted and four people behind me needed the paramedics. The contestant seemed offended when I told her her chili had given me brain damage. <laughs> Shireen saved my tongue from bleeding by pouring beer directly on it from the pitcher. I wonder if I'm burning my lips off. It really pisses me off that the other judges have asked me to stop, stop screaming. Screw them. <laughs> Here we go, chili number six. Venetia's vegetarian variety. (laughs) Judge number one, thin yet bold vegetarian variety variety curry. Good balance of spices and peppers. (laughs) Judge number two, the best yet. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Aggressive use of peppers, onions, and garlic. This is superb. Judge number three, Frank. 
My intestines are now a straight pipe filled with gaseous sulfuric flames. I am definitely <laughs> going to shit myself if I fart, and I'm worried it will eat through the chair. No one seems inclined to stand behind me except Shireen the beer maid. I cannot feel my lips anymore, and I need to wipe my ass with a snow cone ice cream. <laughs> Chili number seven, Selena's mother-in-law's tongue curry. So judge number one, a <laughs> mediocre curry with too much reliance on canned peppers. Oh. Judge number two, ho-hum, tastes as if the chef literally threw in a can of chili peppers at the last moment. I should take note of the, at this stage, I'm worried about judge number three. <laughs> he appears to be in a bit of distress as he is cursing uncontrollably. <laughs> Judge number three, Frank. <laughs> if you put a grenade in my mouth and pull the... <laughs> if you put a grenade in my mouth and pulled the pin, <laughs> I wouldn't feel a thing. <laughs> I've lost, I have now lost the sight in one eye. <laughs> the world the world sounds like it's made of rushing water. My shirt is covered with curry, which slid unnoticed out of my mouth. My pants are full of lava to match my shirt. <laughs> At least during the autopsy. <laughs> They'll know what killed me. <laughs> I've decided to stop breathing. <laughs> it's too painful. <laughs> Screw it. I'm not getting any oxygen anyway. If I need air, I'll just suck it in <laughs> through the four inch hole in my stomach. <laughs> <clears throat> Chili number eight. Nadu's toenail curling curry. Judge number one. The perfect ending. This is a nice blend curry. Not too bold, but spicy enough to declare its existence. Judge number two. This final entry is good. It's a balanced curry. Neither mild nor hot. Sorry to see that most of it was lost when judge number three farted, passed out fell over and pulled the curry pot down onto himself. Not sure if he's going to make it. The poor man, I wonder how he would have gone if there was actual hot curries in this contest. <laughs>